12 JCPS schools participated in the Urban Heat Allen Effect Youth Summit, sponsored by Brightside in the Partnership for a Green City. Students were able to have interactive discussions about the city's future with top local leaders and environmental scientists. Well, we were thinking that we were going to put trees on the southern, southwest parking lot of our school because there's no trees really in our school. Oh, that's no fun. No. Okay. So, there's like three. Definitely. Yeah, there's three. There's three. So, and it sounds like you probably have definitely a lot of like lawn space. Yeah. Yes. We're at Jefferson Community and Technical College in the Health Science Hall Auditorium and we're having the Urban Heat Island Youth Summit. Uh, we are trying to come up with recommendations for JCPS to help mitigate the Urban Heat Island problem in, um, JCPS is the 27th largest school district in the U.S. We are on a field trip to learn about the urban heat method and like environmental actions and how we can uh, do more things to help keep like runoffs and weather in good environmental interaction in our city. In a rain barrel and then water from that. <coughs> and that way, as what was Russ was saying, is maybe we do put some of those barriers like on the roof. So, If we can change the heat island effect, we can also change the energy that we use in the schools and at home. In 2012, Dr. Brian Stone from the Georgia Institute of Technology uh, concluded that Louisville is one of the most rapidly warming cities in the country. The impact all these little cells along the solar panel, and that then converts that energy to electrical power, which comes out now through the back of, of the system. So it has a little controller here, and now these go into a battery system. The summit came about as a genesis of a research project of Dr. David Howarth at the University of Louisville who's wanting to gather baseline data from meteorological stations on the urban heat island effect and who better to work with than the future leaders of tomorrow. We can make it like a better world that we can like use reusable fuel, less pollution, everything anything that can help the environment stay alive. Some of it I knew about, but the urban heat I just now learned about today, and I'm glad I learned about it, so. The urban heat island is, uh, if you look at Louisville on a map, Louisville's always 10 to 15 degrees warmer than the surrounding more rural counties, and it comes in large part due to impervious surfaces like roofs, roads, parking lots. If you've got large areas that are paved or that are like a black roof, which is what you see in Louisville, they, they absorb a lot of the heat and then emit it back into the atmosphere over the evening. So the low temperature for the day does not get as cool as it could. The upper temperature of the day is typically not the problem. It's not cooling down at night. Well, it makes me feel that I can make a big change in our city and by like planting like the tools they showed us earlier and uh, things that help our environment stay healthy and alive. I think I can like plant trees and I can like uh, inform people to plant trees to help our environment like t uh, because trees give oxygen, natureness, and they uh, take in carbon dioxide. It's been extremely exciting. It's fun to watch the students and how engaged they are. And then there's like a little courtyard with all the dead trees and there's no and there's like grass there. there's like benches around On the yeah. manual side, there's like just this like oh, just yeah. patch of land that we can put yeah. trees in there. Plus, yeah, we could do, and like oh, yeah. on the corners, they're all like worn down. So